Okay, so thank you, Mr. Max Bemis, for giving me the idea for this latest video topic, which is once again about Twitter. Why? I don't know. I mean, huh, I should be talking about other stuff right now, but yeah, why not? Okay, look. It has become very, very apparent to me that no one at this company should be allowed to have a Twitter page. Or, here's a better one, why is there not anyone in charge of overseeing the Twitter pages? Why? I mean, look, Twitter has millions and millions of people. Those millions of people could become potential fans of the company. They could have become potential fans of you, Slot, of you, Ways, of you, Bimish, of you, whoever else is a part of this SJW hive mind. But no, you guys waste it. Okay? Go to the page alone, so this consists of positive interaction with fans now it doesn't have to be 100 percent positive all the time you guys are allowed to have well this agreement from time to time but that one thing does not have to turn into a rant or well my favorite block buying people okay Literally, you guys are wasting a perfect form of advertisement. Why? Is it because you wanted to prove a point? Okay. You can go ahead and do that, but it's not really helping out your financial situation, is it? It's not helping you sell your comic. It's not... Helping you, I don't know. It's not helping you, and it's not helping the company that you work for. But wait. What's that? This is your personal account? And you are allowed to say anything that you want? Well, yeah, true. I do have to agree with you there somewhat. However, there is one um, final problem in your logic. Look, I personally do not have my work information or what I do for a living on my personal account. Why? Because it is my personal account. It is not my work-related account, okay? You guys literally have the company that you work for and what you do at said company on this account. Therefore, I am going to count it as a work Twitter. Your work Twitter, like I said, should be used for work purposes. Now, you are... F now, look, here's the thing. You are... Um... Perfectly able to rant about Trump... And bitch about identity politics and basically how everyone is a racist and a homophobe. You are still allowed to do that. But here's the thing. You need to make a separate Twitter account. And make that your private personal one. And do all of that shit on that page. Because at least then, the events about Trump and... How the fandom is, well, let's see now, anti-diversity. As long as it was on your private personal account, then hey, I literally could not say anything about that. Go ahead and do you. However, I don't see that. You guys have made the mistake of not making two Twitter accounts. One for work, and one for, well, 
personal stuff. Okay? You guys have, for some odd reason, decided to use your career Twitter to do rants about politics and other and other um things that should not be on there. Why? Why is that? Also, I have one question. What is with the mass amount of black body people? I mean, look. Me. I. The only way I'm going to block someone is if they block me back. Is if they block me first. You block me, I'm going to block you back. You know why? Because I don't like the fact of you being able to see my stuff, but I'm not allowed to see yours. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. But, you see, that is like a pretty good reason. However, black buying people for stupid shit like they happen to follow a person who you do not agree with, or perhaps they call your comic bad. Or perhaps, maybe they did not call it bad, but they listen to a person who calls it bad. Therefore, by default, you have to block everyone. We don't do that, okay? If you want your company to grow and get better, if you want to get your stuff out there, then stop black buying people. Right? It, it is a difference between actually blocking someone because they are, for example, let's say, her, that they are, let's say, harassing you. And there is a difference between, I don't know, let's say I made a... Let's say that I made a review of a particular Marvel comic, and you blocked me from that? No, that does not... No, that does not deserve to happen. Now, I understand that... Well, you are your own person. So, you feel like I can block whoever I want. Okay, yeah. You do. But just know that every innocent reader that you block, every innocent newcomer that you block, fan that you block, every person that you yell at, that you decide to have Twitter beef with, this know that that is another person that you are turning down and also their money. Alright. This website, like I said, Twitter, it could have been used to promote your stuff. It could have been used to interact with fans. But you guys are just wasting it. Seriously. Like, look. CB. I know that there is like a 99% chance of you not listening to this video. But, just in case that 1% pops in, get someone who is basically in charge of the social media aspect over at that company. Okay? Like, have them oversee Facebook, have them oversee Twitter, have them oversee Instagram, anything like that. Alright, I believe that I have rambled on enough. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Love y'all. Peace out and done.